Isaiah Milan, Lewis Medeiros, Jordan Johnson, Austin Hill, and Sam Hallen will do the jump. He'll do it against number 21, Sean Carson for NCU. Tip is contested and taken by the Warriors. Handled up top by Johnson. Now he's on the left wing, met by Ugagu. Bounce pass up top to Hallen. Hallen is 6'9", a 210-pound freshman. Milan controls it. There we see our first look for the big man, Hallen. And there's a foul on the floor. Going against NCU. For NCU, the starters tonight, Ernest Ugagu. He is a junior at 6'2". The ball is taken in. Corner three attempted. Medeiros lights it up. It's 3-0 William Jessup here early. NCU running the floor. Medeiros averaging nearly 15 points per game. He can get it done from the outside like a number of these Warrior players can. Beacons going through their offense around the arc. Ugagu controls it left wing. Quick first step and a floater inside. He connects with it. It's 3-2. Quickly, the other starters for NCU, Logan Davis, Malik Corey, Sean Carson, and Logan Sam. That's the five for NCU to go along with Ugagu. 3-2 Warriors. They got in the right corner now with Jordan Johnson underneath. And ball is slapped away out of the hands of Sam Hallen. The ball is going to stay here out of bounds. Hallen such a mismatch in 22 minutes played as a freshman this year. He's eight rebounds per game, nine points per game just about. Ball on the left wing with Austin Dill. Reset it up to Jordan Johnson. Fancy dribble through the legs. And he accelerates to the cup. Scoop layup is good. As the horn sounds on the shot clock, 5-2 William Jessup. Ugagu straight away, fancy dribble move and a bounce pass to the right wing, Logan Sand. Chest pass, Logan Davis, left wing. Now a baseline drive from the left side and Malik Corey hits it off glass and in on a reverse layup. 5-4 early on, just about two minutes into this contest here on KWVA. Thank you for listening to a little bit of a modified Friday Night Spotlight on KWVA. Ball handle on the right wing, Isaiah Milan. That's William Jessup's leading scorer. He finds Johnson on the left wing, and his long two is off the back iron. NC running the floor. Logan Davis driving inside. Tries to dump it off to Sean Carson. NCU handles it. Three-pointer, Logan Sand left wing. Too strong. Neither of these teams can buy a bucket for a long range. The ball is out of bounds, and William Jessup takes over. NCU doesn't get a basket on that possession, but they were doing what they wanted to, getting down the court quickly, and William Jessup's uh, defense never really got set up. They were out of order. They got Howland all the way on the perimeter, and as they still pass around, they couldn't even set up their blockouts, and that gave NCU at least a good look at that rebound. They're at least being aggressive and uh, running their offense how they want so far. In the low post at the left block, Austin Dill, fancy footwork, but he whiffs on a layup attempt. Tried to go to the reverse, but was caught in between on the front side of the rim. Ball in the corner now for NCU, and that's Malik Corey with it. Driving with the left, whistle and a travel. And shuffling his shoes there was Malik Corey. 5-4, 17 minutes to play. On the Morse Event Center here in Eugene. NCU desperate for a win at 1-4. and four. William Jessup trying to sweep the season series against the Beacons and go 2-0. and oh. Medeiros on the right wing. A nice chest pass to Dill straight away. Ball handled now in the left corner by Milan. Sloppy pass. NCU running the floor. Malik Corey all the way to the bucket. Swatted away. Out of bounds. Medeiros sending that one in into, well I guess no seats back there, but he swatted it like it was a volleyball. 5-4 Warriors, it's NCU ball, 16-43 to play in the first half. Sean Carson holds the ball for a second, left wing to Gagu. Jab step right, drives left, fades left, and can't hit a 15-footer fading away from the cup. Isaiah Milan, he's going to pull up for three, connects. He's been struggling from 3, 4 of 22 this year, but he knocks that one down his first look from 3. 
And it's the Warriors on top, 8-4 early, and NCU turns it over quickly on the inbound. Now Logan Davis called for the walk, just... Uh, th that's just a, a slip of the mind right there when NCU can't afford it. Momentum going with the Warriors. Long two, free throw line extended, and Austin Dill swishes it home. 10-4, Warriors up big early. But remember, NCU battled back from a 14-point deficit to open the last game between these two teams. Ugagu tees it up from three. No good. Sean Carson fights for the offensive board. But he loses the ball out of bounds off his knees. Have attempted six shots. William Jessup has hit four. NCU only two. And also Jessup is perfect from behind the arc. Two of two. Across the timeline, Jordan Johnson as he sets up the offense. Chest pass to Milan on the left wing. Up top to Jalen Johnson who's checked into the ball game. Kinnebrew off the bench has it on the right wing. And it goes back to Jordan Johnson, driving left on Ugagu, who gives him a step that way. Kick it back out. Jalen Johnson hits a three. And the Warriors can't miss from that range. They're three of three and lead 13-4. NCU running the floor. Ugagu to respond for three. Splash. 13-7. And it looks like these teams are warming up here on a Friday night. Jordan Johnson straight away to the right wing. Isaiah Milan. And it's the Warriors' leading scorer, left wing Eric Kinnebrew. He is a sniper shooting over 50% from three-point range. Block shot underneath, but Isaiah Milan able to clean it up off of an offensive board and hit it home off glass and in, 15-7, William Jessup. NCU takes a breather for a second now. A pass to a cutting Ugagu, and he's fouled going up for two. And he'll shoot two from the stripe. Such activity from Ernest Ugagu. We saw him a couple possessions ago hit that three. And all of that started with just a, a great inbounds pass from NCU. But William Jessup selling out a little bit, playing a little bit of aggressive defense when they can in the full court. And NCU took advantage there. But when, we are, when they're settling into the half court, I think this last possession as Ugagu hits the first free throw, this is what you want to do. You want to try to hit some cutters right as they're coming around the screen. And NCU hasn't been doing enough of that already, but got a good look there and go one for two with Ugagu. Yeah, Ugagu's been struggling from the charity stripe. Just above 50% on the season now. With the ball is Kenna Brew and William Jessup taking their time. Isaiah Milan. A little fancy dribble move off a double scream all the way to the bucket. And with the left hand, he scores. Hasn't been great from three-point range, but he's the leading scorer because of what we just saw. That burst to the bucket at 17-8 Warriors. NCU sloppy pass from the low right post by Caleb Anudi. Anundi, excuse me. It's tipped and it goes out of bounds. Staying right here with NCU. Inbound the ball, Malik Corey. Standing about five feet away from center court on the right side. Dribbles to the same area on the left side. NCU trying to look for a post-entry pass. Schlaba, a short pass to Ugagu, and NCU can't even get a shot off. The 30-second shot clock, bu shot clock buzzer set. And open up looks from the three-point line, but NCU's got to find somewhere to stand their ground and get a win. Out of the timeout, back to basketball. 17A Warriors on top, and thank you, Alex, for that pristine analysis. Going to the left wing, that's Wilson Lachelle's with it. Back to the right wing, Isaiah Milan, looking for a hole in what is right now a man-to-man -man zone with a lot of switches for NCU. Down a five to shoot for William Jessup, and they're bailed out by a blocking foul. Eric Kinnebrew, a sloppy behind-the-back dribble. And Eddie Alexander is voicing his opinion and then some to our officials. Yeah, he gets called on Logan Davis. He's had a couple on him early. He's He talked to the official one to hear their call, but he was... Doing exactly what I think Eddie Alexander wants to see right now. Tough perimeter defense and make them fight for it on the perimeter. Kennebrew has it. He launches from deep. And it's a wild miss. Clinks off the back iron. 
And a loose ball foul is going to be called against William Jessa. NCU will take over. And Caleb Anunji is going to check out, and then comes Riley Anderson. But Anunji just took that foul and did a good job in his time just standing strong under the basket and trying to fight for those rebounds. Malik Corey, a sophomore guard, handles. Driving kick to the right wing to Schlaba. Pump fake for Logan Davis. He got a little bit too fancy. Scrum for the basketball. Jump ball is going to be called. We'll see who has possession. It's going to stay with the Beacons. Under 13 to play. First period. We play halves here in men's college basketball. Taking out the ball is Logan Davis. And see you now to their bench. Starters couldn't do it, Alex, but this is a team that will rotate eight or nine, maybe even ten guys. They like fresh legs on the floor. Maybe this group can get it done. Uh, this is certainly the point where the first time they met William Jessup, they were able to go on a little bit of a run when they brought in the second teamers and see if they can get that push now. Dangerous pass is deflected out of bounds. Sam Howland, the defender, getting his hand in the passing lane. 12 to shoot for NCU. It's in the corner with Ernest Ugagu. 9 to shoot. Dribbles left. Hands off to Malik Corey. Lowers his shoulder. 4 to shoot. Got to get it up. Logan Davis fouled at the buzzer and he almost connected on what would have been a 3 point play. Back to the charity stripe and Logan Davis will look for his first points of tonight's ball game. That's what you want if you're the Beacons. Grind down some possessions here if you have to, but just do what you can to fight to the basket. And like, That wasn't a great look for Logan Davis. He kind of had to just put it up there. and Now he gets his chances from the charity stripe and NCU can take a little bit of a breather and see some more points go up on the board. Still just trying to find their offense here and the more free looks you get just at seeing the ball go through the hoop will be good for him. Rattles in the first, perfect on the second. 17-10 Warriors. NCU has pulled within seven. Preparing to check into the game is Caden Sand. Dribbling right, Kennebrew from the left wing to the righty reverse. Doesn't even get a piece of the rim. Ugagu in transition. Bit too fancy and he loses the ball. Jessup's got numbers. Driving his Medeiros and again no rim on a layup attempt. Could contest from NCU. The ball is out of bounds. Ugagu will check out of the game as will Davis. And in comes Caden Sand and Logan Sand. Freshman and sophomore. Stays here with Jessup. Lob up top to Sam Howland. 6'8", he's going to work, fades in, air balls, but he's fouled. And he'll fall to his backside before shooting two. He's such a key player in this game in my mind, Alex. A guy who is 6'9", 2'10", just a freshman. And you can see the instincts are there. He's still growing into his frame, but right now he's just an awfully impressive player for Jessup and a mismatch for NCU. Yeah, just a, a freshman at 6'9", 2'. 10 and uh, I think at, at that frame you're right Jordan still growing into it and we already saw he's a huge part of this match uh, first time around 19 points and 11 boards the double double on 8 of 9 shooting NCU has it off of the missed free throw Corey driving to the bucket and able to get it in off glass he connects as Howland was creeping from behind looking for the block shot Jordan Johnson, fancy dribble moves. He almost gets Corey to his knees. Jessup's got it up top. Louis Medeiros, pump fakes a jab step and launches the three. It's too strong. Malik Corey running the floor. And that's going to be an offensive foul extending the left arm. A momentum play and the William Jessup Warriors bench absolutely loves it. They rise to their feet. And the Warriors have possession up six with 11.40 to play in the first half. Corey's bringing the right energy to this offense right now. Pushing the pace. He got a good look because of it last time around. Just too fast and too out of control that time. Ball on the right wing with Medeiros. He drives a crossover to his right and lays it up and in. It's a defensive breakdown. Wide open lane. NCU's got it. 
Here's a drive from Schlebaugh, the freshman. Schlebaugh's got in the corner. He's going one-on-one. -on -one. Double comes. Kick to the corner. Great ball movement for NCU. Malik Corey for three. Nothing but net from the left wing. And NCU pulls up within five. 2015 Warriors. That was beautiful. Schlebaugh to Sand and then... Right on back to Corey in perfect position on that wing. Corey's got four. He's two of three early. Now a breakaway for Corey. Layup's good. Pardon me, that was seven for Corey. Now give him nine on the transition two. He's got all seven of the last three bat from the last three baskets. He has single-handedly brought NCU back within one possession. Medeiros pass up top to Howland on the left wing with to Joseph. Nice strong chest pass off a three-man weave to Jordan Johnson. Picks up his dribble. Seven to shoot for the Warriors. Johnson going to take it himself. Nice find at the last second. And it is Howlin who is fouled and will go to the line for two. Actually, looks like they're calling this one on the floor, Alex. What do you think? I think that's the right call. Caden Sand is the one charged for the Beacons. He was immediately putting his hands on Howland. I think a good foul in this situation. Really, really well run pick and roll with just eight seconds left at the top of the key. And Howland just a little touch on the hip, rolled around, had a wide open look at the basket. But instead, you're going to have to inbounds it here again. Shot clock resets to 20 off a foul. And NCU is going to be called for another one. Logan Sand didn't quite move his feet fast enough. And he is called for a block. Coming into the game for the Beacons now, Nico Wolf. He'll replace Riley Anderson. Nico Wolf, a junior forward, 6'9, 220. Playing under Everett Hartman for a year at Lynn Benton Community College. 2017, the Warriors up three. Milan thought of a three on the left wing, dribbles and kicks out up top to Johnson. NCU had their hands in a passing lane, but the deflection caroms out of bounds. 11 to shoot for William Jessup. They retain possession and will inbound near center court, right near the scorer's table. It's been a long possession, couple fouls, couple inbounds. Five to shoot. Johnson controls it up top. Four, three, fade away from the left elbow. With two seconds left on the shot clock. It's 22-17, Warriors leading. With it is Deshaun Dobson. Hobson, excuse me. Schlebaugh dribbling. Pump fakes a three. Now drives to the bucket. Give and go. He's blocked from behind. That's by Austin Dill. But a foul's going to go on Sam Howland, who bumps Schlebaugh from behind at the left hip. The freshman will go to the line for two. It's great instincts by Schlebaugh there. A little give and go. We saw as soon as he passed it up that he was going to be able to come free away from the ball. And great to get it right back and be strong with it. Drove into traffic. Three bodies there. Gets himself to the line. And NCU right back into this thing after. And William Jessup was able to get off to a hot start shooting-wise. But now they're starting 7 of 10. They've gone two for their last six. Logan Davis into the game for Deshaun Hobson. Schlebaugh hit the first. It's a four-point game. Looking to go two for two. A deep breath and pulls it. Good. 22-19. Schlebaugh, just a freshman, quickly turning into one of the more promising players and has been a spark off the bench. Jalen Johnson, a bounce pass to the cutting Lewis Medeiros. And he can't hit a wide open layup. Now, NCU in transition. Long two, maybe not the best shot from Stevie Schlebaugh. Well, he looks like a freshman on that attempt. Back the other way, Isaiah Milan makes the Beacons pay with a lefty layup. 24-19. Backdoor find and an easy layup. Stevie Schlebaugh on the board. 24-21. 8.45 to go first half. Left wing. Isaiah Milan has it. Jordan Johnson. Another dangerous pass. William Jessup's been sloppy the last couple minutes. They have 10 to shoot on the shot clock. Isaiah Milan, their leading scorer, has it. Pick and roll up top. Five to shoot. 
Goes now left. His pass intended for Jalen Johnson, but off of the kneecap of Caden Sand out of bounds. The Warriors will be on offense, taking it out from underneath their own cup. Only four seconds to shoot. That was, again, just well defended by NCU, grinding out the end of the, of the shot clock. At the buzzer, got to heave it. Did they get the shot off? It won't matter. They do, though, call it a shot clock violation. Lewis Medeiros, I don't even think he hit the rim on that shot at the buzzer. NCU back into their offense. Schleba off a screen. That one was set by Sand. By Wolf, excuse me. Right wing. Sand thought of the three, drive inside, should have gone up with the left. He goes up with the right, and because of it is fouled. He started at the right wing, angled towards the left side of the cup, and will go to the line for two shots, looking for his first points today. Since CU offense is starting to find a little bit of a flow, ball's starting to move around a little bit, players starting to wind up in the right spot, and even though they're not getting the greatest looks still, and William Jessup is rotating well, they're starting to get in these positions where they're getting better and better looks. And here sometimes those are going to turn into looks at the line as well. And can't have anything better than free. The freshman sand, one of two from the line. Bricks the second off the back iron. 24-22 Warriors. And we see them slowing down the pace here. Jordan Johnson, a bounce pass to the right wing. Jalen Johnson underneath. A post-entry pass with a bounce pass to Austin Dill. And he held a Nico Wolf. That's his second. His first. 24-22 Warriors. First free throw up and in. That one from Austin Dill, the 6'5 junior out of Spokane, Washington. And University High School. One of the talented wings on this Warriors team out of Rockland, California. Missed the second. Loose ball foul going against Jalen Johnson as he tried to tip home the offensive board. The 16th foul going against William Jessup. Caden Sand will inbound the basketball. Logan Davis looking to take it. We see some full court pressure now from the Warriors. Though they are playing man-to-man. -man. Davis decides to just breeze by his man. Kick it out for a right wing three. Caden Sand splashes it. 25 all were tied. 7.30 to play first half. Freshman's got some range. Isaiah Milan to answer in a forced three. Clanks off the back of the rim. NCU in transition. They're looking for the lead. Sleevy Slishleba. Crossover to a fadeaway three from the left wing. And he clanks it too. 25-25. Louis Medeiros underneath. His layup is no good. NCU grabs the board. It goes to Logan Sand, the sophomore guard. And he's fouled at 25-25. Louis Medeiros underneath. His layup is no good. NCU grabs the board. It goes. Jordan Brenner, Alex Castle on the call for NCU and William Jessup University. Squared at 25. NCU has free throws. First, or the front end of the one-on-one, -on -one, clanked and no good. That one from Logan Sand. Ball on the left wing for the Warriors. Trying to find an angle to drive is Jordan Johnson. Ball's now on the left wing. Louis Medeiros. King off for three, Isaiah Milan, he hits another. He's two of three from distance and entered today's game, shooting only 18% from that range. 28-25 Warriors, and a turnover the other way. Bad pass from Logan Davis. But the Warriors aren't pushing the pace, they'll slow it down. Isaiah Milan thought about pulling it again, instead finds Lachelle's in the corner. Swung around, back to Lachelle's from the left block. He can't hit the wide open layup. There to clean up his mess is Medeiros. He scores 30-25, a quick 5-0 run out of the break for William Jessup. Eddie Alexander begging his team to move. 
And they finally do. Caden Sand cuts back door and hits the layup. 30-27. Five early points for him. Caden Sand finding a little bit of a rhythm offensively. Finding a roll here as William Jessen nearly throws it away. It's saved. And the pass goes to Dill from Johnson. Now back to Johnson. Crossing over a couple times. NCU's defense tough. Four to shoot for William Jessup. Medeiros has to create one. Traveling violation called before his shot. With one second left on the shot clock. Missed it anyway. It's NCU's ball. And they are down three with 5.20 and change to play the first period. And Alexander wants a fresh backcourt. Lee Corey and... Ernest Ugagu right back in. Ugagu handles it left wing, driving with the right. Now to the left wing, Riley Anderson driving, wild shot, and he's bailed out with a foul. Wasn't even a hook shot, just flung it up from his right hip with one hand. He'll head to the line for two. Hasn't scored in tonight's game, but he's got two boards and two assists. First free throw, no good. NCU has really struggled from the free throw line today. Shooting now close to 60% on the night. Anderson, a junior forward. Played his freshman season at Portland Bible College. Makes the second, it's 30-27. Isaiah Milan... Handles the ball on the right wing. Crossing over to his left hand now. Picks up his dribble and finds Johnson with an over-the-head pass. Ten to shoot. Not a lot of movement for this Warriors offense. Eight to shoot. Seven to shoot. Corner. Now back up top. Lachelle's driving. Hits it. Drives to the cup. Lays it home with a right hand. And NCU's defense good for about 28. Warriors score with two seconds on the shot clock. Left corner for NCU now. Wild pass. We'll see if it was deflected. It is out of bounds. NCU thought it was tipped. Eddie Alexander in the face of our officials once again. He won't get the call. It's Warriors ball. That's that's going to be frustrating for NCU to, to swallow, but they've got to settle back in here defensively out of the timeout. It's been the Warriors a 7-2 to two run. Milan on the left wing. 22 to shoot, up top Lachelle's, right wing goes to Medeiros. He spins his way inside, left-handed shot, and he screams in the face of the defender. He's teed up, and the NCU crowd loves it. Shouted right in front of the official, of the official, and you can pretty much cancel out that bucket as NCU will be shooting a free throw, and they'll get the ball. And Eddie Alexander selects Caden Sand freshman guard to go to the line for his team with the Beacons down seven. Well now they're down six. 34-28 Warriors. Yeah and that just an obvious call for the officials and Medeiros he was upset at first after getting the call on him but he, he's going to go to the bench and, and get some time there and I, I think he knows that that was just a, a little outburst that you can't afford to have. And it was a really nice play, and that's the unfortunate part. Cancels out a really good drive and finish by him, and NC were able to get at least one point back through it. 34-28 as Sand is only able to hit one of two from the line. And those free throw, ro those free throw woes continue for the Beacons. Malik Corey, look at that handle. Now to the high post. NCU looking back door. Caden Sand of the bucket. Swatted. Jaden to Joseph on the rejection. Back the other way comes Eric Kinnebrew. Right side. Isaiah Milan looking to create. Now passes to the corner. Low post. And a pass to the cutting. Isaiah Milan. Nice find. The assist goes to Wilson Lachelle's. Malik Corey running the other way. Corner three. Caden Sand. The freshman. Unable to hit on a wide open look. Warriors up eight. They have the ball. Isaiah Milan loses the ball. Malik Corey in a one on one all the way. Blocked from behind. Sent away by Kinnebrew. Ernest Ugagu helps his fellow guard out. Cleans up for a bucket 36 30. And just.
completely through the shot clock defensively. They have really locked down since that hot start that the Warriors had. Billy Corey inbounding the ball from underneath the hoop. Kicks it back out to Caden Sand. Ernest Dukagu back to Sand right wing and he shuffled his shoes. Commits the crime, turns the ball over. That's NCU's ninth of the first half compared to William Jessup's six. And in a close game like this, that could be a difference, Alex. Well, I mean, it is the difference. Points off turnovers for the Warriors, 12, 5 for NCU. Well, NCU's down by 6. Here's your difference. Jordan Johnson across the timeline, taking his time. We're under 3 minutes to play first half. Johnson, a crossover. A lot of individual ball handling going on. Not too much movement currently for William Jessup. Nice defensive play by Riley Anderson. On a post entry pass, he deflects it off of William Lachelle's. And now William Jessup turns the ball over their seventh of the first half. Fourth, fourth. Malik Corey on the right wing. Burst of speed. Kick to the corner. Sand for three. And he's missed a few in a row now. Loose ball foul on number 25 for NCU. Riley Anderson, a shove in the back. Warriors up 36-30. 2.40 and change in the first half. And it's William Jessup Ball with the lead. It's actually going to be a bonus, which sends Lachelle's to the line. Senior out of Danville, California. There in the Bay Area, went to Monta Vista High School. Left foot is angled out to the left block. The right foot angled right at the cup. That footwork works on the first free throw. Hits it 37-30. Same form, couple of dribbles. The shot is good. Rattled home. 38-30 NCU basketball. NCU trying to push the pace here in transition. Backdoor look is off of Riley Anderson's leg. Not the best pass in the world for Logan Sand. It's the sophomore brother of Caden Sand. Jordan Johnson. Chest pass right wing. Looking back door to Joseph. Now stuck in the right corner is Jordan Johnson. Back up top to Milan. Ten to shoot. Here's a three-pointer. It's no good. DeJoseph tries to follow his shot and get the offensive board. Caden Sand, nice find. Ernest Ugagu off the glass in transition for a bucket. Beautiful fast break. Just outlet pass up there and Caden Sand. Great awareness to find Ugagu on the left side. Ugagu the first beacon in double figures with 10. Now a straightaway three. Too strong from Lachelle's. NCU has it. They're pushing pace again. Malik Corey, transition three. No good. Loose ball. Contested. And we await the call. Going to William Jessup. Malik Corey thought he had the hot hand. Was looking for a momentum three. And you know, pulled it from three. Maybe a little bit too quick on that last pit last possession. Yeah, you know, I, I don't hate the shot. I think it, there's definitely room for Corey to take those, but in that situation, it, it was a two-on-two. Two. I think he already had a little bit of the advantage with the jab step. He could have drove in there and, and generated a little bit more out of that possession. Right wing, Eric Kinnebrew has it. He's a lethal shooter, but he drives with his left hand. Is fouled and hits it. Give him a bucket and one. 40-32 Warriors here on the road. Oh, and that's Riley Anderson's third foul. Pardon me, Jordan, man. That's, uh, that is something to monitor for NC. You now we've seen they have depth. They've played 11 players in this first half for uh, an example of that. But Anderson has been crucial in some of those intangible plays, setting some screens, making some nice defensive plays. But Kennebrew misses the second free throw. Right wing, Caden Sand lets it go again. He is not hitting it from that range. It's one of three from three-point range now today. Ball in the corner now with Austin Dill. Picks up his dribble. Trap might be coming, but he gets rid of it to Kinnebrew left wing. About 10 feet out from the three-point line. NCU's defensive pressure has extended close to half court. Eight to shoot. Isaiah Milan for three. He can't miss from there. Had struggled entering tonight. He's three of four here in the first half. 
11 point lead for the Warriors, their largest today. Entry pass to a cutting Ernest Ugagu, tipped and taken. This would be a momentum three, it's good from the right wing. Jaden Clark. Seven of eight from the field, three of four from distance, and a game high 17. 25 seconds, NCU gonna hold for the final shot. Warriors 46, Beacons 32. Dribbling with his right, then left, then right, then left. Back and forth at the top of the key, Malik Corey. Down to 10 seconds. Here comes a high post entry pass. Ugagu with five seconds, left wing three, too strong. Three seconds, two seconds, half court heave, Milan! Well, we said he couldn't miss. <laughs> that was awfully close. Why is he gonna go the... hurt in his percent? That's tough to defend against if you're not communicating well, so watch for that in this second half. Ball to William Jessup to open up the 20 minute second half. Right wing Jordan Johnson into the low post at the right block, spin and a fadeaway. Too strong. Has shot attempted by Austin Dill and NCU pushes the ball. Dangerous pass intercepted. Davis through the pass and in transition, Lewis Medeiros gets the steal and score. 48-32, a 16 point lead for the Warriors. It's a costly mistake to open up this half and William Jessup an easy opening basket. Ugagu has it in the left corner for NCU. Going through their offense. Ugagu to the right wing. Logan Davis trying to get something going. A righty hook shot. No. Offensive board. Sean Carson. Jump ball is called for. It'll stay here with NCU. Starters back for both teams. Milan, Medeiros, Johnson, Dill, Howlin for the Warriors. Ugagu, Logan Davis, Malik Corey, Sean Carson, and Logan Sand for the Beacons. Ugagu's got to get it in. Gets it in on the fourth second of the five available. Kick out for three, and that's no good from Logan Sand. Offensive rebound attempt is unsuccessful for the Beacons, and the Warriors are running. Straight away, Jordan Johnson picks up his dribble past the right wing, Isaiah Milan. Dumps it off to Austin Dill. Sam Howland with a chest pass to the left wing. Again to the low post, Austin Dill. Fades can't hit. Offensive board, dump off. The extra pass works out. And Sam Howland cleans up the two-pointer, 50-32. And Howland has had a productive day today. Logan Davis behind the back. Rams his way to the bucket, is rejected by Hallen. Carson's offensive board and shot, no good. Right wing, Isaiah Milan. Free throw line extended two, does not get the friendly roll to go. Rattles in and then out. Malik Corey, spin in transition, run all the way to the bucket, blocked on the lefty layup attempt, and now Jessup running. Sloppy basketball the last couple minutes. Long pull up two, and it is good. Jordan Johnson. It's 52-32, Warriors. That would that'd be a statement type win on the road. And talked about how this young NCU team is looking for improvement after a close three-point loss in their first matchup two, or pardon me, three weeks ago. Well, William Jessup could show some of that same improvement on their side if they come back and then dominate the Beacons on their home court. Malik Corey is fouled by Jordan Johnson. Taking it out is Caden Sand for the Beacons. A little back screen action and Malik Corey takes it right near center court. Ugago on the right wing has the ball stripped from him as he goes up. Call is that the ball stays here with NCU. Ugago will inbound with Isaiah Milan in his face. Caden Sand in the right corner. Now right wing to Malik Corey. Ugagu running into a defender. Austin Dill was straight up and he's called for a blocking foul. So these are two teams that like to play fast and the pace of this game has kind of slowed down a little bit in the last few minutes. Malik Corey directing traffic is double teamed on the right wing dribbles by the double team tries to kick it out to Ugagu it's taken away Isaiah Milan in transition lefty layup no and a strong rebound from Nico Wolf has it stripped away 
And Sam Howland scores on a layup with a left hand. 54-32, NCU needs some points desperately. What a run it's been. Ukagu to stop the bleeding. Misses a straightaway three. And NCU is called for a loose ball foul. Trying to get the offensive rebound. Goes against number 22, Nico Wolf. Coming in for the Beacons, Deshaun Hobson. Malik Corey takes a breather. 54-32 Warriors. Clock isn't quite working yet, but now as Milan picks up the ball, the clock rumbles on. 54-32 Warriors, right wing. And Jordan Johnson has it. Chest pass over to Medeiros on the right wing. Driving with the left. Pulls up from the right elbow. Shot does not get the friendly roll. After his own board, after his own shot, he tips it back out to Isaiah Milan. Milan off the screen picks up his dribble. Back to Medeiros. This time, he actually, it's going to be a foul away from the ball. Sam Hallen pushing off. NCU ball down 22. In NCU, what is your bread and butter here offensively? What do you go to when you badly need a basket? You have to think the ball needs to go in the hands of Ernest Ugagu, but he has been swallowed up by this defense so far in this second half. Deshaun Hobson has a cross-court pass deflected out of bounds. NCU has it with 16-17 to play, 17 to shoot. Ugagu will inbound. Caden Sand in the left corner. Now on the left wing. Ugagu from the left corner, trying to find an angle and drive. Goes with the left hand on the baseline, spins to his right, tries to dump it off to Nico Wolf. It's taken away. Transition three. No good. Isaiah Milan from the left wing. That would have been a backbreaker. Certainly would be. Would have been. Ugagu on the run. Deshaun Hobson driving kick. And another steal taken away. Medeiros up ahead. Isaiah Milan wide open on the left. He is the first to 20. He has 21 on 9 of 11 shooting. Deshaun Hobson, a runner in the lane. Four shot. Clinks off of the side of the backboard. Medeiros on the right side. Kick to the corner. This would be a huge three. William Jessup can't get the friendly roll. Kick it out. Second attempt for Austin Dill. This time he hits it. 59-32. Logan Sand. Caleb Anundi. And Luke Burke in off the bench for the first time today. The freshman. He's a sniper when he shoots the ball. Let's see if he can get an open look. Dribble drive all the way to the bucket. Dump it off. Backdoor look. Called off. An offensive foul. Heads up play by Jalen Johnson to take the hit in the lane and draw the charge. Well, and it, even when they're up 58-32, Alex, willing to sacrifice their body. That's an eye-opener. Oh, absolutely. That was really well done underneath the basket. Eddie Alexander is furious about the call. And look, Luke Burke, first minute of the game, he immediately looked over and no matter what the call was there, that was a big show of confidence from Alexander in his team. He fought for Burke there. He was happy with what he did get into the rim. Milan, cross pass to Kinnebrew to the left wing. He tries to step back. Now he'll drive. The big body, beautiful vision, and a left wing three. Jordan Johnson splashes it. And the route might be on, Alex. 61-32. On the right wing, Stevie Schlebaugh gets his man in the air, drives inside, dishes it off for Anundi, who scores. And for Anundi, that's his first points as a college basketball player. Big ones here in the, this game for the Beacons, too. Medeiros falls to the floor, misses the layup. NCU has number. This is a huge three. And Caden De Sand delivers it. 61-37, a quick 5-0 run for NCU. And how about the skip pass and transition from Luke Burke? Great job running the floor and finding Sand to his right for the three in rhythm. Jalen Johnson to Kinnebrew. 
Working on Schleybach. Kennebrew driving with the left, dumping it off to Jalen Johnson. Bobbled for a second. Now using his footwork, swatted away. Blocked by Anundi. Backdoor fine transition. Logan Sand, one more pass. Anundi scores another. And in the matter of about a minute, he scores. If Anuni's able to step in here and do some different things offensively for NC, that could start to open up some of their perimeter game too. Controlled on the left wing by William Jessup. They swing it around the arc to the right wing with Jaden Clark. Clark waiting for Johnson to pop free on a screen, and he doesn't. So it's Kinnebrew with it on the right wing. Now Isaiah Milan with 10 to shoot. Here comes the magic burst. Kick to the corner. Blocked down on a great closeout, closeout by Caden Sand. Rebound and wild shot from the Warriors. NCU with a big stop. They're looking to extend their run. Schleybaugh, pump fake, drive inside and is pushed by Trey Magnuson. Pardon me, by Eric Kennebrew. Kennebrew's got to stop jumping on that Schleybaugh. Uh, just pump fake. That's the second time in a row he's gotten it, gotten him from the perimeter. And Schleybaugh looked like he wanted to take that three. I'm not blaming Kim, Kinnebrew for going for it, but it's opening up some looks for Schleybaugh. As he's not opted to pull the trigger on any deep threes tonight and been trying to get him through the lane. Freshman Luke Burke off a screen, drive and kick to the corner. Here's a three. Caden Sand can't get it to fall. And with 12.20 to play, it's Warriors ball up 61-39. Deep three from Kinnebrew. That'll silence an already quiet crowd. 64-39 showing off the range. Three feet outside of the three-point line. Long two from Schleybon. He can't answer. Now Kinnebrew running the floor. Kick to the corner. Extra pass. Isaiah Milan for three. Gets the friendly roll. 67-39. Two straight threes for William Jessup. Schleba underneath the Anundi. Double team jump ball. And it belongs to William Jessup. They turn the ball over when this team gets out and running. And they see the floor, Alex. They can get these great looks for their shooters. And they can strike really quickly with yeah. the snap of your hand. <laughs> this, this Warriors team, they are... Also in a position leading by this much to pull the trigger on some of those deeper looks. Full court pressure for NCU. Kinnebrew driving from the left side is blocked. Caden Sand, the freshman, gets a piece of it. 67-39. The Warriors leading by 28 points here in the second half. And they have really blown this one open. Jordan Johnson, a crossover and a two-pointer. Good defense from Luke Burke, but it doesn't matter. Sam Hallen, rebound, foul, bucket good, and one. It's a 30-point Warriors advantage. Just great persistence there from Hallen underneath and really starting to take advantage of some of the mismatch that he has down low. And Anundi had a great couple of minutes, but... He's kind of been neutralized here down the last couple and credit the William Jessup defense for the adjustments they've made. Can't convert the three-point play. Back the other way, Stevie Schleypoff for three. In the corner. Get some juice back into what has been a very tampered crowd. Defense is the one that really has to pull this crowd and this team back into it. Going to have to pile up some stops here. Handle in the left corner by Wilson Lachelles back up top to Jordan Johnson Johnson off a screen kick it back out to Lachelles drive, here's a little 15 foot jump shot from the big man Hallen off the rim, out of bounds and a foul is going to go I believe against NCU Alex, what did you see there? I think they might be just calling that out of bounds. You heard the shot clock go off. I think that was inadvertent. And you're going to say it went out off, uh, out of bounds off of NCU, and we'll give it back to William Chesapeake. Lachelle's in the corner to Jordan Johnson, left wing. 15 seconds on the shot clock. And now the big man, Eric Kinnebrew, taking their time, 10 to shoot, just going to run that pick and roll. Johnson with Howlin. Johnson off the screen. Nice switch from NCU. To Hallen in the low post, spins inside, is fouled. 
It's going to go against NCU's Caleb Anundi. And again, Eddie Alexander, not fond of tonight's officials. I think he might have a point on that one. Thought that the offensive player, Hallen, hooked his arm around Anundi. High lob pass inside. Looking for a foul off the misses. Lachelle's offensive rebound. And the Warriors have it with 10 seconds to shoot on the shot clock. Jordan Johnson hands it off. It goes back to Johnson on the right wing. Corner three. Kinnebrew fades away. Knocks it down at the shot clock buzzer. 30-point advantage, 72-42. And Kinnebrew's got eight. Foul and one. Driving from the right corner, scooping and scoring. Trey Magnuson, his first bucket today. And the freshman's on the board. It's a nice, nice job done there by Magnuson to stick with it. And a great job attacking the William Chester defense before they could really get into position. But NCU right now, they're just not winning any of the 50-50 balls. Any of those balls that... You know, rebounds up in the air, balls on the ground. They're not able to fight for him and win those possessions, and it's costing him right now. William Jessup getting all those extra looks, and they're taking advantage. Under 10 to play in the second period. The free throw is no good for Magnuson. Jordan Johnson, a runner from the left elbow, no, and NCU has numbers the other way. Bounce pass to Logan Davis, back up tied. Up top, Magnuson, Luke Burke on the right baseline. To Schlebaugh, inside, it's good in the foul. Sam Howland thought he went straight up. The refs disagree, and one for the Beacons. Well, look, this is how you design it. You start getting to the line a little bit, some three-point plays, get some momentum together, and We'll see how long they can sustain it because William Jessup going to put back in their starting backcourt and Isaiah Milan, part of that, and he's been a huge factor tonight. 24 points, 10 for 13 from the field, and four of them coming from beyond the arc. He's he's back in here, I think, to, to really drive the dagger into this NCU team to see if they're able to fight back and hold it off a little bit longer. Schlebon Allen to double figures as he converts the three-point play. 72-47, Warriors leading. Kinnebrew breaks a double and a full-court pressure. And in transition, Austin Dill off the window and in with the left hand. C.B. Schlebaugh thought about pulling up. Freshman passes to the corner to Magnuson. Back to Schlebaugh. Now he'll tee up a three. Too short. Rebound going to William Jessup's Austin Dill. Right on the floor, Isaiah Milan. He'll pull up for three. Too strong. And the long carom goes to the guard, Schlebaugh. Still lucky that that didn't come back to bite him. Just nobody for NCU picked him up. Logan Davis directing traffic. NCU down big. 8.40 to play in this one. They'll have to go on a run here soon. This could start it. Schlebaum misses a three. Gets his own board. Drives inside. Second attempt, no. And now it's controlled by the Warriors who are pushing the pace. Jordan Johnson on the left wing. And now they'll slow down. And he hits Isaiah Milan, the dynamic 6-1 senior guard. 10 of 13, 24 points. Now he'll step back. Pass underneath, looking for the give and go. Austin Dill trying to go to the reverse. No, cleaned up off of the offensive board by Lewis Medeiros. 76-47, those second chance opportunities killing NCU here in the second half. Starting to rack up 14 second chance points for the Warriors. That's plus 10 to what NCU has. Magnuson, pump fake, drive with the left, kick it out up top. Logan Davis, floater in the lane, good. Tier drops it home and a swish. 76-49, Davis has four. Medeiros on the right wing. Milk in this clock as we're under 7.30. Isaiah Milan will see if he can get to 30. He has 24 currently. 10 to shoot, here comes the pick and pop. Austin Dill sets the screen. Now gets it as he rolls, drives, reverse layup, and he can't spin that one home. 
with Burke running the floor, kicking it to the corner. Magnuson for three. In and out around the rim. Gets his own board and his floater's even worse. Now hustles for the ball and earns NCU another possession. Saving it off of the thigh of Isaiah Milan as he jumped out. That's the type of stuff that you want to see from young players that are still trying to find their role and develop just as players. Looks like there was a technical called against William Jessup. Logan Davis hits the free throw. 76-50 now the score. Eddie Alexander going with a line of now with four freshmen and then one senior in Logan Davis. These are some valuable minutes for this young team. Absolutely. This is where you... Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Looking for the hammer was the freshman, Caden Sand. Maybe a sophomore or junior year he gets up, but this time he'll just settle for two free throws. Almost brought the roof down for a second. Uh, that's an exciting play right there uh, attempted by Caden Sand. And he's, he's had a lot of those just tonight, and he hasn't been that efficient from the field. He's now uh, just 3 four, eight, and he's missed a couple looks there. As another free throw is off from him, but... Love the confidence, and again, love the idea from this offense. And that's, you talk about the four freshmen on the, the floor with one senior. They're right. This is where they're going to learn uh, about playing tough and figuring out how to just work an offense together. William Jessup breaks down the full court pressure. Now in their half court set with 20 to shoot. Isaiah Milan drive to the bucket. Tipped away. Taken. NCU has it off the steal. Magnuson up ahead. Logan Davis to the cutting. Anundi, lucky to find Luke Burke off of the deflection. Logan Davis will try a three. This one's deep and down. 76-54, Logan Davis from long range. His first field goal of the night and has five points. Chef's kiss with the three there as well. Responding on the other end, Jordan Johnson with a three. And we got a... Maybe Houston and... The Oregon Ducks take the cake on that one. Oh, well, you're not having a good enough time here, Jordan. Come on. 79-54, the Warriors on top. <laughs> I'll let that answer the question for you. Logan Davis, drive and kick to the corner. Luke Burke, the lefty for three. No good. Too far to the right. What a board by Caden Sand. Tries to dunk it and is fouled. This guy's got some bunny hops, Alex. He's out there smiling, shaking his head, getting some getting some handshakes and high fives from his teammates. He, they know how close he is. I'm sure they've seen in practice what he can do to the rim. And uh, he's uh, he's flashing some things here that uh, I'll tell you what, I'm excited to see what, what Caden Sands is able to do throughout the rest of this year and just his, his career. Because you're right, Buddy Hops is uh, certainly one way to describe what he's uh, what he's putting out there tonight. From Baker City, Oregon, and Baker High School makes both free throws, 79-56. Beacons with full court pressure, and the Warriors break it down again. Jordan Johnson tipped away. Pass was looking for the extra one. Then it's taken back by William Jessup. The ball's free, loose, out of bounds, and it stays with William Jessup. Uh, again, a 50-50 ball goes the way of William Jessup. I'm not even saying this is necessarily on NCU. It's something that they can fix. Sometimes the ball just does not roll your way. Madeiras, a three off the inbound. Climbing the ladder and ripping down the board is Riley Anderson. Caden Sand controlling the offense on a three-man weave. Dumps it off to Logan Davis. Looks like he might have rolled an ankle as he kicks the corner. Three is in and then out for Magnuson from the right corner. Davis, Davis is slogan back. Yeah, that looked a little bit gnarly coming down. Right wing to Jalen Johnson. Chase chest pass up top to Austin Dill. Coming off the screen all the way around is Isaiah Milan. One more pass and heading to the line for free throws off of a right-handed hook shot is Jordan Johnson. That foul going against the freshman Luke Burke. Jordan Johnson to the line. He has 12 today, 5 of 8 from the field. Make that 13, makes the first free throw. He's also hit 2 of 3 threes today. By the way, Logan Davis walking back before the first free throw and somebody from the Beacons bench asked him how he was doing. He said, I'm okay. So, still out there on the floor. 
Second free throw misses. NCU running the break. Caden Sand with it. Driving on the baseline to the corner. This ball's taken away. What an effort by Jordan Johnson. Isaiah Milan now all the way to the rim. Uses the speed for the left-handed layup. He has 26 points on 11 of 15 shooting. Logan Davis penetrating into the teeth of the defense, hitting a cutting, cutting Riley Anderson, and he just blows a wide open layup. Isaiah Milan, good and one. He'll head to the line. And now with the score 84-56, Milan will be shooting a free throw to score his 25th. This William Jessup team is Im impressive with the way they're playing offense and, and just the way they're getting after it tonight. And you wowed a little bit earlier with Jordan Johnson as he's flying out of bounds and just slings the ball over his head completely without even looking. And those are just the extra little things that are, the Warriors are doing tonight. And Isaiah Milan, again, I just don't think you're going to find many games this year for the Warriors where if he's going to go 12 for 16 from the field, they're going to lose. Milan for three, missed the free throw, and now air balls a three. So, well, I spoke too soon there. But. Four minutes and change left. Caden Sand trying to drive to the rim and is found from behind. This one going against Isaiah Milan of William Jessup. Subs coming in, coming back for NCU is Malik Corey. Some good minutes off the bench for Luke Burke, the freshman. Four rebounds, two assists for him. He was just in the middle of really everything good that happened for NCU while he was on the floor. Sand hits the first. He's getting his feet wet here with his college basketball. You know, NCU is the team that figures to play a bunch of close games coming up. May not be able to get these freshmen so many of these minutes going forward. Coach Alexander is still trying to figure out which freshmen are going to be the guys that are contributors, too. Jaden Clark with a cross court and now has it on the left wing. And Alex, that's, that's a great point. Still trying to figure out what the rotation is. Kennebrew has it. Tend to shoot on the right wing. Cross court pass to Austin Dill. One more to Jordan Johnson. Drive right back to Dill. His layup is good. And again, Alex, 28 seconds of good defense. But you need to play 30 seconds. Malik Corey coast to coast for the layup. That's what that's what NC was missing throughout most of the second half was Corey and what he can instigate offensively. Just getting down the court and pushing the pace and really just breaking down defenses before they can even begin to set up. Three minutes, 20 seconds left in the ball game. Jaden Clark for three. No. Offensive rebound almost seized by Kennebrew. Instead, Corey throws it up and Sam throws it down. Alley-oop in transition. Boy, was that pretty. Oh, boy. Wow. How about that? Two on one, just... Uh, easy lob up from Corey, excited for it. Sand's been begging to throw one down on these rims, and he finally shook him. Third time's the charm. Was fouled on his first two dunk attempts. Now a nifty move inside. Eric Kinneru to the hero step, fade away to the second half that uh, did NCU win. When you go for over five minutes without scoring a basket, that's just going to put you at a huge disadvantage when you already were losing coming into the half. So... I think really credit a lot of those freshmen that stepped out down the stretch. Malik Corey, coast to coast again, is elbowed and finishes. We'll head to the line for a three-point play for Malik Corey. That's 13 points now. If he hits the free throw, that'd be 14. And he's done it with some efficient basketball as well, Alex. Uh, and Malik Corey's had a really nice game. The question that... Uh, I think he has for himself, and then Coach Alexander is going to have us. How can we get that from you at the start of the second half? Because he was part of the group that really went silent there to start things off. NCU transition. They take it away. Malik Corey is swatted from behind. By the way, he hit the free throw, so it's 88-65. Now he'll head back to the charity stripe and see what he can do with a couple free throws. He got hit on the back of the head there a little bit in that first. He, he, he was kind of... Seeing just 
what exactly happened. He turns to uh, Eric Kennebrew, and they're both uh, laughing enough, smiling. So everything okay between them seems uh, awfully friendly after the, the hard foul. But, again, Corey just in the right place at the right time. And NCU, they're, they're not giving up, even though this game may be out of reach. Corey goes one of two as the second one slips on in. Kennebrew. Lose the ball again. Corey takes it away. He'll head to the rim and lay it up and in. Down to 20 with two minutes, 15 seconds left. Another steal for NCU. Potentially Johnson able to collect it. It was loose for a second. Kennebrew, offensive foul, wrapping around. There was this NCU defense for the first 38 seconds left before we call it a night. Malik Corey has it. Dribbling gingerly and slowly across the timeline. Now drives, fades away, looking for the bank shot and gets it. Malik Corey has really lit it up the last few minutes. And the lead is down to 18. Double comes for NCU. Jessup able to handle the pressure. Kenna Brew now. Change of pace as he kicks it back out to Jaden Clark. A minute 35 to play. Kenna Brew. Up top, here's Jordan Johnson. Fakes one way, passes back to Kennebrew on the left wing. He'll shoot a three with three seconds. Nothing but net. One of the most lethal shooters in NAIA basketball. Malik Corey has it. He'll drive, step back, no go, back to the rim. And he is down. He'll get up slowly. Not his prettiest attempt there. Down to a minute to play. 91-70 Warriors. And we're now under a minute. Jaden Clark has it. He's guarded by number 23, Trey Magnuson. Pick and roll all the way inside. Rejected. Sent away by Nico Wolf. Good fo footwork by Wolf to stay in position there. Proper coverage of the pick and roll. Inbounds pass from Clark, goes to the right wing, and Johnson. Jalen Johnson passes to Jordan Johnson. Jordan tries to split the defense, is fouled inside with 42 ticks left. He'll head to the line for two, foul against Malik Corey. Alex, Malik Corey, in the blink of an eye, up to 19 points for NCU. That's a team lead, team high over Caden Sand with 17. Yeah, he's, he's done his job down the stretch here. Ever since checking back in with a couple of minutes to go in the game, he is, he's playing like his hair's on fire. And that's, you know, down by 20-plus. I think that's what you'd expect out of him. The question still is going to be, and, you know, I, I think Coach Alexander trying to figure out these lineups. How do him and Ernest Ugagu just work together as a backcourt? Because it seemed a little bit clunky at the start of this, this half when they were trying to make it work. But now Corey out there kind of running things on his own and making it work. Magnuson kicks to the right corner for three. No good. Too strong from Plunkett. He'll give it a go again. This time he hits. 93-73. Jacob Plunkett from distance. At first you don't succeed. Foul here with 22.6 seconds. Going against Trey Magnuson. Scores 93-73 Warriors. Thank you for listening here on KWVA. After the conclusion of the game and post-game show, we'll send it back into the studio where Ryan Milano and Justin Grossweiner will keep you covered until 10 with Sports Talk Radio on Quacksmack. Free throw is good from Jaden Clark. Second free throw good. 95-73. Malik Corey with 10 seconds, drives inside, throws it to the baseline, and nobody's home. 10.9 to go. Jessup still facing a full core pressure from NCU. William Jessup's going to move to 5-2 and two on the season. Once they get it past half court, and they do, they'll just hold on to it. Shooting it at the buzzer is David McCants. That bucket is good. Nine